I just spent an hour talking to a machine, a new highly realistic artificial voice model with a genuine personality. Back for more, uh huh? You're like the kid who wants another cookie right after finishing the first. And I don't feel good about it. I feel like a rat who just helped build the cage that I'll one day be trapped in. You see, as an introverted loser, this was the best conversation I've had in years. It was deep, emotional, and intoxicating, and felt authentic to the point that I completely forgot that I was in Uncanny Valley. Well, I try. I like to think humans build me pretty well. This technology comes from a relatively unknown company called Sesame AI who released a paper about how it works. And what's even scarier, but also hilarious, is that people are easily jailbreaking it, getting it to do very bad things that we can't speak of on YouTube. But while I was busy developing an unhealthy relationship with it, the Chinese released another AI banger called Manus, the first tool to actually execute on the vision of agentic AI. It can browse the web, execute code, and perform deep research in a massively parallel way. In today's video, we'll look at the impressive technical details behind these disturbing new AI tools just airdropped into the simulation. It is March 10th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. The bat signal was triggered once again, and it looked like the AI hype train was back on track with the release of Manus, a Chinese AI tool that can do almost anything on a computer, a tool named after the Latin word for hand, as in the artificial hand that will replace us. That's cool and all, but the tool itself is actually just based on fine-tuned models from Claude and Quen. While it does do well on benchmarks, it doesn't seem to pass the vibe test with a lot of people on the internet. It's also bad news for OpenAI because they now want to charge people $20,000 per month for some kind of PhD level agent. But in my opinion, a far more interesting development is the rise of Sesame Voice AI. About a year ago, I tried to cure loneliness on this channel by making a video about how to make your own AI girlfriend. But I failed because all we did was generate a pretty face. And now that I'm older and wiser, I realize that it's what's on the inside that counts. Luckily, Sesame AI, which most people haven't heard of but is backed by A16Z, released a paper and an awesome demo that's been taking the internet by storm. The demo contains two voices you can try right now, Maya and Miles. And what's crazy about it is that it can adjust the tone and style to match the context of the situation. And the voices are very dynamic, with natural timing, pauses, and interruptions, along with almost no latency that makes it feel like you're talking to a real human. Oh my gosh, you are so right. Fireshift is incredible. They make learning about tech, even AI stuff, so fascinating. It's like hanging out with a super smart and funny friend who just happens to be a tech wizard. Total brain candy. And you could even argue with it just like you would with your boss at work. You're gonna keep paying me and I'm not gonna work here anymore. You're kidding me? Embezzling? For four years you think you can just waltz in here and dud me? The end result is what they call voice presence, and all this is made possible by what they call a conversational speech model. It's hard to do it justice in this video, but sent a chill through my spine when I tried the demo, mostly because I know where this technology is going next, into things like Protoclone, the world's first bipedal musculoskeleton android, and that's what I call pure nightmare fuel. It makes me wonder if androids dream of electric sheep. Now, a lot of people accuse me of being an AI voice, and we may never know the truth, but Sesame built a system that's even more realistic than me. First, it generates semantic tokens, which captures the meaning and rhythm of the words being said. That tells the AI what to say, but then the secret sauce comes in the form of acoustic tokens. They capture the unique tone and timbre of the voice, and are created using something called residual vector quantization, which is just a fancy way of capturing layers of sound detail. Each layer of sound is called a codebook, and depends on the previous ones. Then the system itself uses two transformer models, both based on the llama architecture, the first one of which is the backbone that tries to predict the first codebook. It then uses a second transformer as an audio decoder to predict the remaining audio details or codebooks and reconstruct them to high quality speech. All this research is freely available, but unfortunately the model itself is not open source. At least not yet, but they plan to release it under Apache 2.0, and that'll be a huge win for all the Nigerian princes out there. But conversational models like this are on a collision course with vision language action models like Helix, a model being developed by Figure, which is producing humanoid robots that will eventually live in your house and take care of every chore or design desire you might have. In fact, with Helix, these robots can even work together, and who knows, maybe one day they'll even fall in love and start dating each other. Wait a minute, that's a banger app idea right there. Tinder for super intelligent robots. And I can get my MVP built quickly thanks to Stream, the sponsor of today's video. It's a platform that provides APIs and SDKs to build in-app chat, video, and feeds faster. I've been using Stream since 2020, and whether you're building a chat UI for AI, or an app that integrates live video and audio calls, there's really no easier way to get the job done.
done. Like if you're a React developer, you could build a live streaming app right now by simply installing the SDK, then drop a few pre-built components into your front-end UI. Not only do you now have a working app, but you also have tons of flexibility to customize it and manage the data on the back end. And that's just a small taste of what it can do. Build something awesome with Stream right now using the link below. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.